Yo, what's up guys? Christian here from Affinity Collective. Today I'm going to be going over the Digital Miner from Mechanism. Now there's a few things that you're going to uh, want to know and that you're going to need. So, coming in here, this uh, pattern right here is the basic recipe for the Digital Miner. And these things can be a little bit confusing to build, so I'm going to go over them real quick. For the Atomic Core, you're going to need some Enriched Alloy, um, Dirty Obsidian Dust, Obsidian Dust, or Pulverized Obsidian Dust. You're going to need Osmium Dust or Osmium Refined Dust, and a Diamond. So for the enriched alloy, you're just going to need a metallurgic infuser. In the left side, you fill it up with redstone or redstone blocks. In the center, you put an iron ingot, and it'll start pumping out enriched alloys. Four in the corner. For the osmium dust, I would just go with an enrichment chamber and throw an osmium ore block into there, and it will give you two osmium dust for your trouble. So it'll double it for you. And for the uh, obsidian, I would just throw it in the enrichment chamber. Uh, it'll again give you two obsidian dust uh, very easy one thing to keep in mind all these machines do need uh, power they get powered by RF so I just have it hooked up to my uh, small little big reactor over there and hooked up with some wires so the next thing for the digital miner you're gonna need a control circuit which is pretty basic uh, there's that enriched alloy again flanked on both sides by some redstone dust now for the logistical sorter Pretty easy, just some iron and a U, uh, one of those control circuits, and a piston. Pretty simple. For the robot, you're going to need some iron, some obsidian ingots, which you can uh, get from the mechanism mod. And then you're going to need an energy tablet, which can be made by, again, enriched alloy, some gold and redstone, length on both sides, an atomic core, and an electric chest, which requires some steel, glass, chest, and a circuit board. For the last thing, or for next to last thing, is the teleportation core, which just uses some lapis, some gold, two of those atomic cores, and a diamond in the center. And the steel casing is just some uh, steel in a star-shaped formation. In the center is an osmium ingot. So once you have all those things, pretty simple to do. Just throw them in there, and boom, you've got your digital miner. Now the confusing thing about this mod is the interface for the digital miner. Um, it can be a little tricky, so if I right-click on there, Already it's just kind of like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? In the upper left here, you can see it says idle, not ready, eject on, pull off, silk off, to mine, zero. Um, in the Over on the right, you can see the uh, power source. So I have 40,000 RF stored up right now. And in the upper left there, you can place the battery or such if you choose to do so. Now the first thing you're going to need to do before you start using your digital miner is you're going to need to configure it. So you just go ahead, hit that config button. And over on the left here, a bunch of different options um, what you want to want to set is your radius so that means from the center of the digital miner out how far uh, is it going to mine now the max is 32 I like to keep it around 10 to 15 usually um, but I'm just gonna leave it on 32 as the max right now the minimum is how far below the ground the digital miner will mine so if you wanted to mine a bedrock just throw it on zero it'll mine all the way down and the max is the highest point it will mine. Now, right now, I'm on the Y level of 59, so I set it to about 40 so that it would not, you know, destroy my floors and everything whenever I use mining. Now, going into the actual configuration of it, um, to tell the digital miner what exactly you want it to mine, you're going to want to click on Ore Dictionary. Now, what this will do is it will bring up this little interface right here, and there's a bunch of different ways to type in um, what exactly you want. So, if you want all ores in the ore dictionary to be mined, you just hit ore and then type in asterisk and you hit save. Now it will mine every single ore in the ore dictionary. Uh, likewise though, you can do um, specific ores. So let's say I only, only needed some iron and I didn't want it to waste time looking for other things. I just type ore, iron, hit save, it'll do that. And it does that for pretty much every single block. But there are some blocks that are not in the ore dictionary. Obsidian for example. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit that item stack button instead of or dictionary and you're going to take whatever block that's uh, that you want and you're just going to left click into the upper left box here by this back arrow and it'll put obsidian into that. Now it will mine all these things, um, obsidian, ore, uh, and or just everything that you put in. So pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, now, these little four buttons right here, there's... They have all have a different option. Well, R is reset, and that's pretty simple. It just resets everything um, on the machine. Auto eject is the feature that whenever it mines something, it'll just spit it out the back. So if you have that turned on, 
it will either put it in a chest or pipe system. Right here, I just have a crystal chest filled up with everything that I mined, going into a little ore system here. But on the back, it will eject. On the sides of the digital miner, it will take in power, like you can see here with that basic universal cable. Now, Silk Touch is pretty much like the enchantment Silk Touch that you can get on a pickaxe. So if you mine a block of coal, um, it will stay a block of coal, it won't turn into actually the coal bits. So, but that uses six times the amount of power. So you make sure you want to have kind of a, a pretty heavy duty power system for that. And auto pool is the feature that if you have a chest on the front of the digital miner, instead of leaving gaping holes, everything that mines, let's say I had a whole bunch of stone left over for, uh, for some reason, for example, I could put a chest or a system that just constantly pumped stone into the digital miner and it would fill up this inventory right around here. And what that would do, it would then replace the blocks that it's mined with that material. So that's good for keeping, uh, getting rid of large world holes underneath areas. If you want to keep it nice and clean and fill it up, that's how you do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw start on there. Now, in the left here, you'll see a few different options. It's, it'll change running, and it'll say ready, and it's like 2 mine 8,655. That's how many blocks it has left, and it'll slowly just start mining that out. So as you're on um, your world or server or whatever, it will just start. It will just continuously mine everything out. And as you can see here, um, if I throw Silk Touch on, it'll drop down my RF quite a bit because it uses six times the energy. So that's pretty much everything that I can show you on the Digital Miner, guys. I'll throw in a link in the description to a website that will show you guys a nice detailed uh, explanation of how to get specific. Um, ores mined in the digital miner using the ore dictionary but other than that guys hope you guys enjoyed once again i'm grissom 250 collective and peace guys